Do you have? We did not check You did the not get a due diligence Chair. from Dole Dole. And we have uh, issued uh, 19 uh, AEPs or Alien Employment Permits. Dole, 19 lang ang, ang, ang AEP. Yung 249 na dinismiss nyo, pinakawalan nyo. Wala silang AEP. In other words, kung wala silang AEP, hindi nyo sila pwede bigyan ng 9G visa. Correct? Yes or no? We do not issue 9Gs, Mr. Chair, the, the BSI. It's Dumadaan sa Board of Inquiries no? yan. Dumadaan sa inyo. You were not a former commissioner of the BOI? Never. Ayan, no? Are you Rolando de Ledesma? Pipino. Mga peking Pilipino na pinalulusot nila. Yung mga peking AEP. Sino na, wala naman silang in-issue na AEP. Eh. Ang doli eh. 19 lang eh. Tapos, meron doon, may AEP na kalusot. Dinismiss nila yung kaso, pinakawalan nila 249 ng mga Chinese na ngayon kasalumuhan natin, yung mga foreigners na yon. Doon ka mamili kung sino ka, kung Pilipino ka o Chinese. Pero 60 years old, 49, ganito ka kapal ang inaprubahan nyo. Isa pa lamang ang nakukuha ko. Saying that all these Chinese ha, became Pilipino. Hindi pa naman siya pwede mag-function as commercial port. But you allow to enter all those 2,900 metric tons of, of metric tons of rice. Tama po. Uh, we were being threatened by the Bureau of Customs that if we did not release the um, cargo, I would actually be liable for cases. Sino si sino sa Bureau of Customs ang nagsabi na you will be in trouble? If I remember correctly, Your Honor, nasa labas. Yes. Why? Your Honor, uh, Customs insisted. Unfortunately, Your Honor, despite my protestation, it was brought out by the customs. At dito papasok ang lahat ng hindi mo dumadaan sa X-ray. Yung X-ray natin wala sa loob, naandun sa labas. Paano natin matsitsik ang lahat na pumapasok? Kaya dumadami ang mga Chinese sa atin because of you. Kakagigil ang balitang ito ah. Let's watch the full story. So, uh, si Attorney Ledesma ang uh, hearing uh, officer ng uh, Bureau of uh, Special uh, Inquiry, Board of Inquiry. Am I correct? Siyang uh, Executive correct, Chairman yeah. of BSI and si Attorney Ruben Kasibang ang Deputy BSI. Tama? Mr. Chair, may I clarify please? Yes, please. Mr. Chair, please. Good evening. Good morning. The... The, resolu the, re the resolution of the case was uh, prepared by Attorney Kalingasan of the BSI. And then it was reviewed by Attorney Kasiba. And I approved the recommendation to approve. And then we submitted the approved recommendation for the approval of the Board of Commissioners. And then ko sa'yo, Attorney Ledesma, all of these 332 foreigners do, I ha do they have AEP, Alien Employment Permit? Mr. Chair, please, according to the uh, records, they were charged under Section 37A7 because they were not properly documented and they did not have valid working visas and uh, permits. Yes, correct. But the case against the 249 Chinese nationals were all dismissed. In other words, hindi sila na-deport. That is correct, Mr. At Chair. At nandito sila sa Pilipinas, gumagala pa rin sila. Correct? I do not know if they are still here in the yes. Philippines, Mr. Chair. Nandito sila. It's been three years. Now, ang tanong ko sa'yo, the process of getting a uh, 9G visa is to have the AEP. Correct? Mr. Chair, please, the process of issuing no, no, 9G... No, 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 answer me. Ang sinasabi ko, the process of getting a 9G visa is to secure an AEP pro coming from the Department of Labor and Employment. Yes, Mr. Chair. Correct. Yes, Tama. Mr. Chair. That is okay. the primary requirement. Okay. Ang tanong ko sa iyo, Atty. Ledesma, yung 249 na pinakawalan ninyo, meron ba silang AEP na galing sa Dole? According to the records, and according the, to the according, records according, 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 according to the, to the Dole, did you oh. have a due diligence at Dole about the AEP? prior to your issuance of 9G visa to those 249 Chinese nationals? Do you have? 
We did not check You did the not get a due diligence Mr. from Dole? Dole. Please, Dole. Asan ang Dole? We invited Dole. Can you kindly tell us kung yung sa Banban Tarlac that was apprehended by NBI and Bureau of Immigration have AEP. How many AEPs did you release for Hong Xiong? Hong Shen? Hong Shen. Hong Shen. Uh, good evening, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm Pago Magtoto from uh, Dole Region 3. So, uh, per our uh, alien employment permit uh, monitoring system, sir, both old and new, for uh, year 2021, we have uh, issued uh, 19 uh, AEPs or Alien Employment Permits. And for the year 2022, Your Honors, Mr. Chair, we issued uh, 34. Wait, 2021, you issued how many AEPs? 19, Your uh, 19. Mr. Chair. Oh, but sir, no, Attorney, Attorney Ledesma, they issued 19 AEPs, a requirement prior to the issue one of 9G visa. Para sa kalaman ng ating mga kababayan, this 9G visa, kapag sinecure mo, mabibigyan mo ng tatlong taon dito magtatrabaho yung mga Chinese national na yan. Kaya ayaw nila ng SWP o yung uh, tinatawag nating uh, ano? working permit. Uh, dahil yon 6 months lang yon And AEP is one of the requirement of the 9G visa para makapagtrabaho dito yung mga Chinese na yan. And, of course, dapat kung magtatrabaho sila dito, Priority natin mga Pilipino. Pero hindi pinaprioritize. Saan ang galing, Ator ni Ledesma? Kung 19 lamang ang nakuwang uh, nabigay nilang AEP doon sa Hong Shen, yung nahuli doon na 332, pinakawalan nyo yung 249, okay? Saan ang galing ang AEP nila? The charge, they were charged, Mr. Chair, with working without Visas and permits. Oo nga eh. Pero bakit nyo nga dinismiss eh? Tapos pinakawalan nyo yung 249 eh. It's a matter of the rules of evidence, Mr. Chair. That's why they were released. <laughs> Wala na nga silang AEP. ba? Sinasabi na ng Dole, 19 lang ang, ang, ang AEP. Yung 249 na dinismiss nyo, pinakawalan nyo. Wala silang AEP. In other words, kung wala silang AEP, hindi nyo sila pwede bigyan ng 9G visa. Correct? Yes or no? We do not issue 9Gs, Mr. Chair, the, the BSI. It's the, it's so, anong the, issue nyo sa kanila? They are issued, the 9G visas are issued by the Board of Commissioners through the legal division. Of course. Not the BSI. At dumadaan yan sa Board of Inquiries, of Special Inquiry. Don't pull me. Dumadaan sa Board of Inquiries no. yan. Dumadaan sa inyo. Yes. In employment permits, permits, Mr. Chair, during my time, there at the Bureau of Immigration, we do not up, we do not process 9Gs. Hindi nyo pinaprocess ang 9Gs because ang nag approve ng commissioner. It's pro the 9G visa applications are processed by the legal division. Legal division, yes. and then, saan sa dadating? Dadaling siya sa, bago siya dumating sa, pa, sino ang pumipirma sa kanila? Mga commissioners, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. And you are one of the commissioner. Mr. Chair? Y you were one of the commissioner during that time, correct? I was member of the I was the executive chairman of the board, board of special inquiry. Of course, but you are also the commissioner. Tama? Yes or no? Commissioner ka din eh. Assign ka lang sa board of inquiry eh. Tama? Ikaw ay isa sa commissioner during that time and then you were assigned as the head of executive director of the board of special inquiry. Di ba? Are you a commissioner during that time? Yes or no? What time? What date, Mr. Chair? I'm asking. You know very well kung kailan ka naging commissioner. Ba't ako tatanungin I, mo? I, I was never commissioner, Mr. Chair. Ano ka dun? Officer in charge. Officer in charge? You were not a former commissioner of the BOI? Never. Ayan, no? Are you Rolando de Ledesma? Never a commissioner. Mr. Chairman, I will show you. Ayan ang, ang pangalan niya. Ronaldo Ledesma, officer in charge, commissioner. Hindi ka ba? I'm not... Wait. I was officer wait. in charge, not commissioner, okay, Mr. Chair. Okay, Mr. Chairman. You are OIC. Oh, yes, function, Mr. Chair. Your function mo is still commissioner. I was OIC. But your function is still commissioner. OIC ka. In 2010. Okay. Alam mo, Attorney Ledesma, please, 
uh, you you were an OIC. I was an OIC, Mr. Oh, yan. 2010. OIC commissioner. OIC lang ang nakalagay sa akin. Eh, Nama. How many uh, Chinese people have you recognized during your incumbency? Mr. Chair? I don't remember, Mr. Chair. OIC lang. Uh, ang you're, trying to, yes. you're, you're trying to give us an answer that you, that you probably feel that cannot uh, pinpoint to you directly being or effectively performing the function of a commissioner. Eh, yun din yun eh. Di ba? Yun din yun eh, di ba? Practically, all the, the functions of a commissioner can be done by an OIC except on matters where policy will be proposed. Correct? Yes, Mr. Oh, Chair. 99%, ganun din yun. Dahil yes. pang sinagot, tinatanong ka lang niya kanina kung nag-commissioner ka eh. Hindi kasi nagpapalusot lang eh, Mr. Chairman sila eh. Alam mo, ito yung bagong ano eh. Uh, alam mo, nakakalungkot yung pastillas gang na sinasabi nila. Napalta niya ng pipino gang. Ano? So, pipino. running the daily affairs of the office. Mga Pilipinos na pinalulusot nila. Yung mga peking AEP. But the commissioner can implement policies. Wala naman silang in-issue na AEP. Serious policies eh. and guidelines. Lang eh. Tapos, At ang OIC, doon, Mr. Chair, may AEP, nakalusot, dinismiss nila yung kaso, pinakawalan nila 249 ng mga Chinese uh, na ngayon kasalumuha natin, Secretary mga Justice foreigners na yun. Commissioner. As a matter of fact, Mr. Chairman, I will show you something. Dahil ito sa ginagawa nila, yung recognizing yung ating pong mga Chinese, mga national, ayan, marami silang mga taga-ombudsman, ay sa ombudsman, sa mga, mga Bureau, of, uh, Bureau of Immigration, na mga empleyado nila, na sukang-suka na sa nangyayari sa loob. Meron tinatawag silang Gucci Gang sa loob. Meron silang tinatawag na past Pastillas Gang at ang pinakamalaki ay ang Pilipino Gang. Pipino Gang. Dahil mga peking Pilipino. Pipino. Mr. Chairman, bakit niyo yung ano, yung nirecognize nilang mga, sa ka naman nakakita, Mr. Chairman, 60 years old. 60 years old. Ha? Nirecognize mo. Late registration, 60 years old. 50 years old, 49 years old, recognize. At ang sinasabi, Chinese father or mother, pa, or ang mother ay Chinese, tapos Pilipina ang ano, ang mother o kaya father. And then, kukuha ng birth certificate na late registration, makikita nyo yan. Yung mga nandyan, 60, 50, 49. Yung mga Chinese na yan, Mr. Chairman, 18 years old pa lamang, pwede na lang piliin kung ano sila, Pilipino o Chinese. During that time of being an 18 year old, doon ka mamili kung sino ka, kung Pilipino ka o Chinese. So in other Pero words, 60 years old, 49, ganito ba kapal ang inaprubahan nyo? Pwede mang galing sa inyo, sabi ko sa SOJ, pwede sa inyo eh. All these Chinese, yes, Mr. Ha? O eh, Became ang tanong kasi Pilipino. sa'yo kanina ni, ano, ni Congressman Dan Fernandez, Dan, mga Chinese were you ever... Because of you, were you... Mr. Chair, gusto ko lang pong tanungin si Atone Ledesma, bakit naging OIC ka dahil walang commissioner? Yes, Mr. Chair. O, ibig sabihin, ikaw ang commissioner. Walang commissioner, okay, ikaw ang OIC. Ibig sabihin, ikaw ang commissioner. Mr. Chair, I would like to declare that I'm going to file a resolution investigating the Bureau of Customs. Uh, Pibidek, kayo po ay... Uh... Noong 2021, sino po ang administrator ng PBDEC? At attorney Labinia. Pompey? Hindi po attorney. Pompey Labinia lang. Pompey Labinia. You were the uh, the uh, administrator during that time. 2021. Um, up to... Up to November 12, 2021. And during that time, you remember that um, uh, a certain attorney less gusay of the Legal Service Division and a certain uh, Colonel Pete the Kipil have uh, notified the Office of the Administrator of a certain email coming from Director Alikpala that indeed there was an in incident regarding the docking of a vessel from Vietnam at Pilsanji Port. Do That's you remember this incident? That's correct, Your Honor. And uh, on January 30, the Security Service Division received tip-offs on alleged rice and drug smuggling going on at the Pilsanja port doon kay Mr. Tony Ong. Is this correct? That's right, Your Honor. The, the, the text message was sent to me and I alerted uh, 
uh, the security division. And that internal document was not meant for public consumption. That's correct, Your Honor. So, Attorney, Attorney Quijano, so why was there a resolution granting a um, granting Sanjia a permit to operate commercially? Your Honor, um, in the beginning as they built the plant, Your Honor, the purpose is to uh, manufacture steel bars out from scrap and uh, steel materials which are uh, both uh, domestically available and from abroad. And therefore, Your Honor, the subsequent uh, request of Sanja was for the issuance of uh, a permit for a port. Uh, the request was submitted to the board, Your Honor, for its approval. Subsequently, Your Honor, the board of FIBIDEC approved the request for the building direction of a port, Your Honor. Yes. Why do you have to approve a uh, board resolution converting that port into a commercial port without persecuting? No, there is a, no... You know, wait, wait, wait. I still uh, have the floor. While you haven't secured yet a uh, permit coming from the DNR, who issued an ECC? Your Honor, uh, the permit, uh, if you will notice, uh, subjects itself to all the government requirements, including public hearing, Your Honor. Attorney Kiano, oh. ang sinasabi ko po, bakit hindi muna kumuha sa DNR ng ECC dahil yung ECC nakasabi doon, hindi siya for commercial port. Di ba? Kung, kung hindi pa siya commercial port, walang, walang karapatan ang board ninyo, including you, to approve such resolution converting that to a commercial port. Your Honor, Ang dami po natin dapat kunin muna ng mga dokumento coming from the national agency before a resolution can be secured from PBDEC. Wala pong converting, Your Honor. Huh? The, the request for a port was, uh, was hindi po converting to a commercial port. Ang request po ng Sanja was for a port. Yes. So, binigyan po ng uh, board ng uh, approval for a port Yung issue ng conversion, Your Honor, like what was pointed out by uh, uh, Administrator Lavinia, was subsequent because uh, when the port was finished, it was already during the watch of uh, uh, Administrator Lavinia, Your Honor. Yes. I was, my, my term was July 2017, to September 2020, Your Honor. So, for your information, ano, Attorney Kiana, no? ito ang nilalaman ng inyong resolution. Resolve to grant the intent of Pilsanjia for to engage in commercial operation to public, subject to public hearing on cons or consultation. Yes, Your Honor. So, since walang public hearing or consultation, so meaning, hindi mo siya convert into commercial port. Am yes. I correct? I agree, Your Honor. Yes. Bakit nakapasok yung mga rice? And I don't know if there is drug inside. Your Honor, that was not during my watch anymore, Your Honor. Sino to? Mr. Pompey, Labinia, bakit? W bakit po nakapasok? Yes. Dahil hindi pa naman siya pwede mag-function as commercial port. But you allow to enter all those 2,900 metric tons of, uh, metric tons of rice. Because it's not commercially operated yet. That's Dahil right. Ang sinabi nyo dito, unless a public hearing or consent or consultation must be subjected first. That's right, Your Honor. They, That's have you why... Conduct, have you conducted a public hearing? At that time, there was no public hearing. That's why yes. we intercepted uh, the boat. Because there, there was even no permission for the boat to land. Yeah, but, but would you allow the enter of the, uh, the 2,900 metric tons? Eventually, ah. you have decided to release all those 2,900. And I will tell you why. I will tell you why. I will tell you why. Andito, nakalagay. 
at 1.11 p.m. of February 2021, Attorney Gusay informed the administrator that she has verified with BOC collector John Simon by phone call that the documents of the importation are in order and that BOC has also verified with Regional Director of NICA that there is no alert order for the importation. Suddenly, nagkaroon na ng clearance. A meeting was requested by Collector John Simon with a PBDEC representative in the afternoon and Attorney Gusay was allowed by the administrator to attend the meeting. A report on what transpired during the meeting was submitted by Attorney Gusay on February 2021. During the meeting, Attorney Noe Espenillo Jr. disclosed that PBDEC 1A will be in trouble if the cargo was not released immediately. Sino? Sino ang sinasabi ni Noe L. Espenillo Jr., attorney, na kapag hindi na-release ang cargo, PBDEC will be in trouble. Tama po. Uh, we were being threatened by the Bureau of Customs that if we did not release the um, cargo, I would actually be liable for cases. Sino, si, sino sa Bureau of Customs ang nagsabi na you will be in trouble pag hindi na-release ang mga bigas na hindi pa naman siya commercial port? Sino? I think it's in the report, Your Honor. What's the name? Who did it? You tell me. I I'm think going it's, to uh, I, I don't have copy of the report, but I think it's the lawyer of the shipper and then Manuel, was it Manuel, the BIR, uh, the customs direct, uh, the customs person in charge in Fibidec at the time. Who's the... And in fact, Your Honor, Commissioner I... Commissioner Guerrero? No, si Commissioner Guerrero, nag si... Secretary Dominguez after because they were actually thinking that I was holding the the view of the customs and the view of the Department of Finance that I was holding the cargo illegally okay Mr. Chairman I know that this uh, will take so long no this will take so long we are not done yet it's already 11:30, and I have a, an issue first with the immigration but Labinia uh, Attorney Labinia Pompey Pompey Labinia yes, po. We will be inviting you over again in the next hearing. Opo. We have to settle this issue. And we Opo. will be inviting those Bureau of Customs who have signed the release of this illegal smuggling of price sa Sanjia. Not yet a commercial port, pero ni release. And even yung, uh, yung initial indication that there are illegal drugs shipment inside was also cleared by NICA. Am I correct? Yes, after the dog, I had the canine dog sniff all of the cargo, Your Honor. Um, and then the report that we got had come from NICA. That, that was what they said. But then NICA denied uh, that there was such an intel report, Your Honor. But of course, I, don't, I cannot verify 100% that the report actually came from NICA. I was told that the report came from NICA. Okay, thank you so much. In the Mindanao Container Terminal, you know that Mindanao uh, Container Terminal? Yes, Your Honor. Yung 48 hectares under the PBDEC port natin? Yes, Your Honor. Which is being handled by the ICSDI? Yes, Your Honor. And uh, during that time, uh, there is um, a um, an, designated, uh, designated examination area. Di ba meron tayong designated, uh, tinatawag natin DEA? Opo. Meron tayong DEA, Designated Examination Area. Opo. During your time, nasaan ang Designated Examination Area? Yung X-ray natin na supposedly, di ba? Yun na nag-check ng mga pumapasok nating cargo. Saan siya nakapwesto? Sa loob ng uh, Mindanao Container Terminal o outside? Nakalagay doon sa PBDEG. If I remember correctly, Your Honor, nasa labas. Yes. Why? Why did you allow this? I... Who, who contracted the contract with Golden Sun and the PBDEG for a 30 years up to 2030. The uh, contract, the contract together with the Golden Sun. Yung X-ray natin wala sa loob, naandun sa labas. Paano natin matsitsik ang lahat na pumapasok na kargameto kung nasa labas siya? Tama po yun. Existing na po yun when I came in, so I don't know who contracted it. Why you did not it? check it and try to, uh, to uh, cancel that contract? Wala na tayong matsitsik, Mr. Chairman. Lahat ng uh, papasok doon. Doon dinadala sa PBDEC, doon ini-X-ray. 
Sige, Mr. Quijano. May I, Your Honor? During my watch, Your Honor, I called the attention of uh, Mindanao... Uh, Container Terminal? No, no, the, the, the inspection unit for X-ray. In fact, Your Honor, I brought one of the X-ray units inside. However, you know, Your Honor, because of that, I got the heat and uh, the people operating the X-ray got so angry. Eventually, Your Honor, uh, customs insisted. And who owns the Golden Sun that operate as a service provider for that X-ray? PBD, kayo pareho eh. But hindi nyo alam. Is it Dennis Oy? Yes or no? Ano po? Dennis Uy. I don't recognize that name, Your Honor. Sa Golden Sun? Yes or no? Hindi. I don't recognize the name. I don't know. Hindi mo kilala ni Dennis Uy? Hindi ko po kilala. Ikaw, Mr. Kilano, hindi nyo kilala. I, have, I, haven't, I haven't read the contents of the contract, Your Honor. And the contract states up to 2030. Yeah, it Correct? was the previous administration, Your Honor. And the X-ray, it's outside the terminal. Unfortunately, Your Honor, despite my protestation, it was brought out by the customs. At dito papasok ang lahat ng hindi mo dumadaan sa X-ray. Mr. Chairman, all the cargos na nanggagaling po sa Mindanao Container Terminal, dumadaan sa kanilang X-ray doon sa labas ng terminal. Saan naman nakakita ng ganitong klase ng... Nakalabas na yung cargo. Correct! Nakalabas, nakalabas na yung cargo bago may dadaan sa X-ray. Immigration. Ay. Severe Immigration. <laughs> And Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I'll be allotting, ako ito, Mr. Chairman, I'll be allotting my two-month salary here in Congress sa mga matitino nating mga kababayan na nandiyan sa Bureau of Immigration na makakapagturo kung paano nakataka si Alice Go using our airports or seaports yung dalawang buwang sweldo ko ibibigay ko sa inyo dag -dag help siya, us man. help us Ay, this Quadcom is serious in cleaning our government join us Mr. Chairman Mr. Chair kayo nung mabibigay hindi sa makakapagturo kung paano nakataas I'm pretty sure Mr. Chairman because I have checked the CAAP ang CAAP meron silang mga biyahe papunta ng Kota Kinabulu papunta ng Singapore na galing sa Clark galing sa Subic galing sa Palawan walang passenger and they know the ports they know the seaports they handle the division of checking Those flight going out and going in. Maluluwag ang mga seaports natin. Maluluwag ang mga airports natin. And our people, hindi lahat sa immigration, thank you to all those immig immigration officers and employees who are faithful to their duty. But, but, to those who are bad ex, sorry, pero magkalaban tayo. Linisin natin ng gobyerno, tulungan ninyo ako, Dalawang buwan na sweldo ko, ibibigay ko sa makakapagturo kung paano nakataka si Alice Go with the help of our immigration officers. Mr. Chairman, maraming salamat po. And they have contract until 2030. Mr. Chairman, we need to investigate this further. Um, you are under oath, ha, Attorney yes, Capullo. Yes, Your Honor. Are you the... Uh, former port operator operation division, ikaw na mamahala ng mga airports and seaports sa buong Pilipinas mula 2019 hanggang 2022? Acting chief, Your Honor. Acting chief. So in other words, nakikita mo lahat ng labas ng mga manifest, ng lahat ng mga buo biyahe, ng lahat ng aeroplano, lahat ng mga, ng lahat ng mga ship. Am I correct? Uh, we can check, Your Honor. We can check po. What? Na, pwede po namin i-check your honor. Of course, you're the chief division na operating yes, na honor. ano. Ikaw yun. Yes, your honor. Yes, Di ba? Yes, Kung ikaw ang pinaka-chief, alam mo nangyayari sa lahat ng airports, sa lahat ng seaports sa buong Pilipinas. Am I correct? Nung na-assign po ako sa... Sa Clark Region. Clark International Airport, your honor, that was 2020-10. 2020-10? Yes, sir. At ano, 20, yes, your honor, until 2012, your honor. Together with Attorney Gemma de la Cruz, Attorney Siriban, and Attorney Bera, were you a part of the hearing officer who hear the 9G visa? Ah, uh, yes, yes or no? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, okay. Kasi alam mo, Attorney Carlos, hindi naman sa pinagbibintangan kita. Ako lang naman.
Pero nag wonder lang po ako dahil kayo po yung uh, Port Operation Division Chief for uh, 2021 to 2023. And then, um, yung kaibigan mo, si Alice Go, na kasama mo sa Christmas party. And um, he wa she was able to leave the country. Na nagulo ang buong Pilipinas, hindi malaman kung saan siya dumaan. Alam mo, gulong-gulo kami, attorney. Eh. Actually, lahat ng mga Pilipino, nagtatanong paano siya nakaalis. And your friendship with her, and you being a part of that division for so long, from 2021 to 2023, give us a cloud of doubts about what really happened. But we are not accusing you of something. no? I hope you understand the, uh, the role of this Quadcom in uh, investigating deeply on what really transpired. No? And uh, accordingly, uh, Mr. Chairman, yung 323 na Chinese nationals na nahuli doon sa banban sa lugar nila Miss Alice Go. This was heard by the Bureau of Custom. Uh, Commissioner Morente, sino po ang uh, nag-hear ng kaso ng 323 foreign nationals who were apprehended apprehended from Banban, Tarlac. Uh, I think the figure, sir, is 332. 332, that yes. That was the uh, operation, joint operation with the NBI and the BI. Uh, the hearing officer for uh, charging them uh, at the legal division, I think, was uh, it's headed by Attorney Arvin Santos, and then the uh, Board of Special Inquiry that uh, heard the case was uh, the retired uh, attorney Ronaldo Ledesma, Your Honor.